This is the TV news for Friday, October 22nd. Let's begin with a TV on-air marketing question. Can a promo be so slam-bang, designed so visually complicated that it physically turns off the viewer? Well, consider the case of the Ion Television Sizzle Overview Spot, which rolls in three, two, one. on television. Positively entertaining. Well, what did you think? We had our entire staff review the spot, and here are some of the verbatims. It made me woozy. I got motion sickness. It gave me a headache. And here's my review. It's just physically unwatchable. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Well, you can weigh in on our Facebook page about this spot, but here at the TV News, 100% of those who viewed the spot were physically uncomfortable. Memo to Ion Television Marketing. If this same feedback is shared in the world of real TV viewers, you are doing your network a great disservice by running it because 30 years in television marketing tells me if viewers are uncomfortable, well, they'll click away and we know that that is not the intent of this spot. The Sports TV News is brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice, get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Okay, today the Sports TV News looks at the NFL. Record TV ratings abound on all outlets in all day parts, but, but, now the NFL may very well outlaw high impact contact that could change the game as we know it. And what we want to ask our Sports TV News correspondent, Eric Mackerlin, is if you soften the franchise that is NFL football on TV, do you risk negatively affecting the level of consumption on TV? Eric. Thanks for that question, Jeff. It's uh, one that's weighing heavily on everyone's mind. Whether you're working at NFL headquarters in New York, you're a fan, or even if you're one of the players, uh, certainly James Harrison of the Pittsburgh Steelers is having that question weigh heavily on his mind after he was fined $75,000 for some of his comments related to this week's announcement. And it is a good question. I mean, if the NFL, a game that, let's be honest, has been selling violence for better than half a century, tones down that selling point. Will the ratings go down? Uh, I think in the immediate uh, effect, the, the answer will be no. I don't think so. I think the NFL is still the most powerful television property. I think that the brand loyalty that the folks have to the NFL and to the teams that they love is so strong that we won't see any erosion at all. I think the sport is that powerful, and I think its appeal is that lasting. The question becomes, what other programming arises which doesn't shy away from violence that will take away or at least attempt to capitalize on that? Again, the NFL audience is so large that I don't think that they're going to see any erosion. But is there going to be an appeal elsewhere? And I think there's some folks, quite honestly, who look at UFC uh, and MMA as properties that would uh, take away eyeballs and are attracting eyeballs. As a matter of fact, are attracting more eyeballs than uh, boxing in a lot of uh, recent pay-per-view events. So I don't think there's going to be any immediate harm to the NFL, although you always want to keep an eye on other properties that would capitalize on, let's say, a softening of mainstream sports properties. Well, thank you, Eric. We will uh, see you next week. 
future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. To reach the decision makers in the TV and new media industries with your message in our native tongue, which is video, become a sponsor of the TV News. To get started, shoot us an email at advertise at the TV News TV. This just in, in a bit over three months, the Nappy Market and Conference happens at the Fontainebleau Resort in beautiful Miami Beach. For registration information, log on to nappymarket.com. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. Coming Monday, another fresh edition. But in the meantime, if you've missed any recent editions of the TV News, you can catch up in a flash in our archives. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching. And as always, go out and make it a great weekend. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.